Hello everybody, sorry for being late uh, in posting this, uh, this video. Uh, okay, uh, we start from uh, a completely blank uh, uh, worksheet. Uh, we, as usual, we switch to the PPA editor. We first insert a user form, then we insert a module. Then we double click the user form, we resize it a little, then we go to view tab, toolbox. Uh, in, your to in your toolbox probably the uh, shockwave flash object isn't uh, activated so you have to follow this uh, procedure. Uh, open the additional controls uh, box and uh, inside it uh, just uh, find the shockwave flash object, check it and then click OK and the flash object is inside now uh, the toolbox. Uh, select it and then we can insert the flash object inside the user form. Now we select the, uh, the text box and we insert it at the bottom of the user form in this way. Now we can close the toolbox and we can start to rename this, uh, this uh, collection of uh, objects. Uh, we begin with the user form that we call player, then we change the caption to you to player, then we change the name of the text, the, the text box, we make it a little bit shorter, and then we uh, we change even the name of the flash object and we call it SWF. Now right click on the text box object and then click on view code. Inside the, uh, the event change uh, of the, uh, the, the text box we uh, type uh, this uh, simple, this very simple uh, uh, lines of code. First, we we dimension a, a new variable as a string. Then we We assign to our variable the uh, the value that of the the text box, and then and then we we tell. Uh, to the uh, the VBA editor that the uh, uh, the, the property the, the movie property of the shockwave object inside the uh, the user form called player is the uh, is our variable. It's uh, as you can see it is uh, uh, so simple. Uh, now we select the, uh, the new module that we have created before and we change uh, its name to show layer uh, and we type our usual player dot show false this little false, as usual, does the magic because uh, it makes our user form uh, floating. Uh, okay, uh, now we are ready, we can switch back to uh, 
uh, Excel. Ah, one last thing. It is very important that you uh, select uh, the Tools tab uh, up here in the menu and go to Reference. Uh, be sure, be sure that the that inside the, this uh, available reference, the shockwave object, uh, the shockwave flash is checked. Otherwise, the whole thing uh, do not work. Uh, okay, uh, we can switch back to Excel. Now uh, we uh, we can uh, attach. Uh, our uh, macro to a nice uh, icon to make uh, to make it much much more comfortable to use and then we can give to the macro uh, a nice icon this one is uh, it's very nice look nice and we click ok and uh, uh, you can see and click ok now every time we click uh, uh, this icon, then our YouTube player appears. Now we collect the uh, the link from YouTube. We paste it inside Excel, and we do our the usual changes. We delete the watch and the question mark sign, and we replace the equal sign with diagonal bar. We clear the hyperlink and we also clear the format. Now we can copy the modified link, click on our icon, select, uh, insert the cursor inside the, uh, the text box and then press Ctrl plus V to paste uh, the link. And as you can see, uh, the movie, the, 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 the YouTube movie clip uh, is inside our user form and we can play it normally. Is, uh, this, uh, uh, this user form is floating and uh, you can, uh, when the video plays, you can uh, work inside the spreadsheet. You can insert data, uh, delete data, insert, insert charts, you can uh, insert a new uh, worksheet and uh, start to work inside it uh, without any problem at all. Uh, one uh, last customization that I can suggest you is to uh, to give uh, to the uh, to the to the text box uh, to increase the uh, the the font inside the text box. We select uh, the text box uh, and then we go to the font property, we click on it and we uh, increase the font size to 14. Uh, and then we can even uh, change the alignment inside the, the text box to center. Uh, and in this way the user form will look uh, a little better. Let's try. We select our link, we insert it, and here we have it. So uh, I hope you uh, you liked this video, uh, you enjoyed watching it, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.